Hi my beautiful fellas, I wanted to do another hair tutorial on a hairstyle that I absolutely love which is beachy wavy hair. Um, so if you like this hairstyle then please keep watching. So the first step is to section our hair. I'm going to start off with sectioning the crown of my head and I'm just going to do this and then I'm just going to twist it and then I'm going to flip it and tie it or clip it with a clip. I am using the Milani clips. Um, I love the color of them, of course. If you know, if you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I love turquoise. Um, okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and section my hair into two parts. I am going to start off with this side and I'm just going to section it with a ponytail holder. So after I do that, then I'm going to start working with this section. I would even further section it out by doing this. And if you guys have already watched my um, how to curl your hair with a straightening iron, then it's the same way that I section my hair. Um, my method doesn't change. It's the same. So you can just skip through this and kind of start playing at the part where I start using the iron. Okay. So now that I have this, basically what I'm going to do is on, um, I am using the Sarah Beach Waver S um, in this tutorial. Okay, so now that the iron has heated up, I'm going to start with taking this back section and curling it. I am clipping this much in, about leaving an uh, inch and a half off. Okay. And then I'm just going to press the go button on here and it's going to do it. I'm going to hold it for about five seconds and then I'll let it go. And this side is set to the uh, left um, button on the iron. Okay, so now that it's been about five seconds, I'm going to let it go and it has curled. Okay guys, if you see um, the silver backing, it's basically my mirror. I can't really see um, what I'm doing and I need to be able to see so I don't burn myself. So again, just starting off, pressing go. Okay. One, two, five. And then I'm gonna let it go like so. And I'm just gonna repeat. Now, if you have the time, you can definitely um, switch it up by doing left and then right and then left and right, and that'll give you that nice textured look. I might try that on the next few. I think that's been about five seconds. Here, we'll try it on this one. So I'm gonna change it to right. I'm gonna clip it in. Oh. Oopsies, I clipped it in the wrong way. Ha -ha. Uh oh. Now we're going in that way. And then we're going to press go. Like so. Okay, I've changed it back to left, so. And you can already see like on the back, this side right here, the nice waves that are coming in. Um, once we're done, then that's when we'll really start to break the waves up and um, start to use texturizing spray and get them going. Okay. So now I'm gonna do the same section again. So again, I'm just going to take section by section. Okay guys, now that I have this side done, I'm going to go ahead and pull my hair to the front. And I know they look like ringlets, but that's okay. 
because we're going to work with them in just a bit. So now I'm going to move on to this side with my head. I am going to go ahead and section this side, then flip it over, do the same thing. Okay, now because I have a little bit more, I am going to go ahead and section that out even a little bit further. So, because there is a tiny piece, I'm just going to do this very carefully. Now that we have our sides done, I'm going to start working on the crown. Like so. Then I'm going to take this and become Cousin It for a second. Then I'm going to part Cousin It in the middle, kind of. I'm going to take the front put it here like so and I'm gonna start working with cousin it section by section okay so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna turn it turn it right there <laughs> okay. so when it's when the iron is set on the left side you basically um want to go over uh so you put your hair in the front and then if you go to the right you're gonna put your hair cl clamp it in in the back okay so that was that one was a left one now i'm gonna change it to right i'm gonna turn the iron this way and then go in and clamp this from under Okay, then I'm going to go in. Okay. And then because I have this little strand, I'm just going to do that. Okay, and that should be good. As it's waving. And then I'm going to take these and then I'm going to clip them in the back like so. Now one thing I did forget to mention is that I took a shower last night and so I let my hair air dry. And I applied um, heat protectant spray as well um, uh, after I got out of the shower. So that's why you didn't see me applying the heat protectant spray because it's already in my hair. But again, like, I don't know what the best method is. Um, if you should do it, like, as you're about to curl your hair or not. So if you guys do know, then please let me know as well. Okay. Turn it on the left side. Clamp it in. this we will do the right side actually I should have done left so it's away from my face it's okay okay then I'm gonna take this part 
So like the middle, run my fingers through it. Okay, I've changed the iron to the left side. You can see this part is not curled, so I'll go in and get this. Okay, let it go. I am going to just stick with the left side for now. Okay. Now moving on to this side. Okay, I'm starting off with the left side. I was thinking how I wanted to do it. So I'll start off with the left side. Okay. On this side, I'm going to change to right, uh, right side. I'm going to go in under, like so. Okay, I'm going to change this to the left side. Okay, Bellas, so now that I am done um, curling my hair, I am basically going to take all the clips out and then start back it and then applying um, texturizing spray and breaking it through my fingers. Now, I do give it like a minute to cool down just because if they're, um, they're still warm, like you can still bend the shape of them. So I kind of want them to set in place before I start to, you know, uh, break them out with my fingers and start to style them so i'm just gonna wait for one minute and then i'll start styling it okay guys i've waited about a minute so let's go ahead and start um putting basically taking our fingers and running them through our hair so that's all that i'm gonna do for now see you can kind of see the waves breaking out Okay, and then I'm going to do the same for the side. Okay, so you can see, like, it's broken down a lot. I'm just going to run my fingers from the top. Like so. See? And then I'm gonna look at my hair and see. Okay. So I think that's good because, um, I don't know if you guys, can you guys see? So I think that's good because, um, the more, uh, throughout the day they are gonna keep breaking up so I think that's good and I'm just gonna apply some texturizing spray so I have um, the Orbi one and I'm gonna see what I can use it's not that much left so I'd rather just kind of finish it off I'm gonna take some of the Wave and Shine Spray also by Warby. And just do that. Look at the waves, they look so pretty. <laughs> the stuff smells great, but it's, you know, the alcohol that comes up in your nose. Okay, so I love Orbi. I love their products. They've always worked for me. This product, when I tried it out the first time, their Wave and Shine Spray, I immediately fell in love with it and that's a this is like that was the first time that I ever ha that I ever fell in love with a product at the first use um this is not sponsored by them this is my honest 
opinion of the brand and I just love the um, flower scent. Okay, Bellas, that's how I style my hair when I'm looking for that beachy wave hair. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, leave comments down below, thumbs this video up, and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. Love you, Bellas. Ciao.